Hey everyone, it's Loopy Lugs Gaming here. Now, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new Let's Play in the channel. Today, we're going to be playing The Quarry. Now, I've seen some people play this, I haven't seen a lot of the game, I don't know exactly how the story goes or stuff like that. All I know is I kind of know kind of how it starts, but that's all we know about the game, so there's no point. No, without further ado, let's go. Right, so this is another game by Supermassive Games, so that's the same as Until Dawn and uh, the Dark Pictures Anthology. I've also changed the music as well so it doesn't get me hit with uh, copyright claims, hopefully, fingers crossed. Skylar Gisondo, he was in uh, the Bill Engvall show and a few other movies. Lance Henriksen, that's the old guy that was in Detroit Become Human, I'm sure. Lynn Shea, I'm sure she's the lassie that was in a lot of the Disney stuff. I like the plume off the lights. Winter, that name rings a bell too. Yeah, I like that plume, that's really cool. Oh, here we go. June 24th, Laura, Route 919. Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, <laughs> I don't think I do. It begins with an L? <laughs> Like the L word? Lesbians? Lost, Max. We're lost. We're just, we're in geographic flux. Right, so, lost. That's debatable. Oh. Safety tip number one, quick time events. Take a moment to consider the following, as it will guide you through the various twists and turns that <laughs> may have during your stay at Hackett's Quarry. What you see here are quick time events, or QTEs, which will help QTEs you to act at short. just the right time. Watch your step. Hackett's Quarry can be a dangerous place if you're not paying attention to your surroundings. Take your eye off the ball, and it could spell disaster. It could be lights out. The path you tread is yours to choose. But that doesn't mean there won't be obstacles along the way. <laughs> oh, heads up. Ooh. Yeah, QTEs. Catch. Thank you. Man, the roads are definitely getting worse out here. I guess it's all part of the rustic summer camp experience. Oh, right, that's where we're going. I lost track like 200 miles ago. 200 miles ago, huh? You know what, Max, it's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gotten lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye hot dogs, see you later apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so... Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my god. Okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Oh, so here we go. Pick a leaflet or pick the map. Let's go for the map. Uh, well, 
especially if we're lost. What is that? Yeah, yeah. No, but seriously, how what happened to the, the normal map? This is the normal map. The one on the phone. No bars. Of course not. See, so we are. Well, I guess they don't put summer camps on maps. Have you seen any signs for it? <laughs> He's pure leather. Hey, eyes on the road. Oh. 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 Max! Do you not know how to break? <laughs> oh shit! Stop the car! Did you see that person in the back seat? Oh, <laughs> looked like the woman from um, Little Nightmares, the teacher. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, still in one piece. Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? A bear? What? No, no, Max, it wasn't a bear. What was it? I think it was a person. Oh, are you serious? Do you think we had a person? I don't know. I mean, it was really cl close, like really close, but maybe we didn't. What is it? I really have this car up. <laughs> well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh. I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. Right, so now we got control of Laura. It's not so bad. My mom's gonna kill me. <laughs> Okay, so let's walk around to the boot of the car. Or as you guys in America, the trunk. Oh, another safety tip. Interrupts. At certain times throughout the night, opportunities will present themselves, giving you the chance to take matters into your own hands. It is worth noting that they are only suggestions. You don't have to act upon them. In fact, sometimes, it's better not to. Right. Oh, here's one of those interrupt things we can snoop. What are we snooping at? Oh, a letter maybe. Uh, thank you for your interest this year. Uh, oh, some which we were unable to accept. Review the. Why didn't you tell me? So he's not made it. He's been rejected. And he's not told her. <sighs> Tough break there, kid. Thanks, huh? Yeah. Do you need a hand? Yeah, actually, if you could just shine a light right here. Ooh. Here you go. Perfect, thank you. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. And then, mm -hmm. picture yourself growing up in front of a big old space even. So what should you guys... Well, anywhere's better than here. So we could walk up. Ooh, shit. There's a creepy woman in the forest. Oh. Where are you going? Just over here. Just stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. So we have defiant. Are you my boss? Or compliant? Hurry up. Let's go compliant. Don't want to rock the boat just yet. God, Max, hurry up. What's going on? 
I'm worried that there's somebody down there. Are you serious? Yeah, that, they could be hurt. I don't know. I didn't think we actually hit anyone. Well, I don't know. I just, I heard something, okay? Like a, a woman. Do you think we hit her? I just want to check it out. Okay. All right. Just don't go too far, okay? Be careful. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, we're going down here. What? Okay. Dude, go down with Luck her. Luck with the car. Oh man. Good luck, Laura. Oh, here we go. Oh, the fool. A tarot card found. Ooh. So we got a collection of 22 tarots, tarot cards. So the fool. The fool, I, I wonder who this is. We all know a fool when we see one, don't we? Innocence and freedom, or recklessness and risk taking, spontaneity, actions without thought. But the consequences to match. Think, think, and don't get burnt. Mm. So with these games, you need to check everywhere. Oh, yeah, I can see there's clues everywhere. Buy tickets now for Harem Scarum. Sideshow Spectacular. So we've got Freak Show Fire, one to nine. Harem Scarum posters. Uh, Prologue in the Woods, which is what we're doing. Uh, this is a poster for a traveling sideshow. It looks like it's been here a while. Left forgotten in the woods. Are those burn marks around the edges? So we've also got a, a question mark underneath. So there must be maybe another clue that goes along with it. Hmm. So nothing over there. So just the usual. Uh, the right stick moves your... Um, you moves your torch around, and the left uh, stick moves the character around. Oh, what have you guys? Oh, here's something else. Hmm. Who? And this is the scabology trunk. So. A trunk filled with strange devices, that of an es escapologist, perhaps a relic of a travelling show that must have passed through the area. Hmm. Right. Oh, we've got another bit here. Ooh, what is this? What the hell? Sideshow act. Silas the dog boy. Silas the dog boy. Oh, I missed the prompt there uh, for the clues. There we go. Broken cage. So, broken cage. This decrepit cage has been engulfed by the woods over time. It looks like an animal has nested here. And then there's another one underneath it. Mm. Yikes. Pretty much. This is too weird. I'm only 16 minutes in. I'm already getting the heebie-jeebies already. I don't think it'll be too long until I have my jump scare. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh. Thought that was gonna be the jump scare there. <gasps> oh my god. Fuck me. I don't know why I play these games. <laughs> I'm such a fairy, like I'm such a scary cat, it's so funny. Oh I don't even like watching horror movies downstairs with a wife weird oh no oh no here we go jump scare are coming
I saw it. Don't worry, I saw it. And you guys all saw it too. Oh man, this see we're wearing headphones like these. The studio headphones, it's just like all right there. Oh, Run! Fuck. Run, bitch, run! <laughs> Fuck. Oh, no. Don't. Oh, yeah. Noises all around honey, me. Honey, honey, take a breath. It's okay. It's the woods. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's animals. It's easy to freak yourself out. No. Can we just leave? Yeah, Please. let's get yeah. the let's fuck go. in the car. You right? Yes, there we go. Purring like a kid. Max, come on! Here we go, here we go. We're getting out of here. Oh, God. Are you kidding me? Max! I just, okay, give me a minute, give me a minute. We've got to go, Max! Why you're not helping right now. Can you just, I am trying to get us out of here. All right, just... enough! Shit, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Jesus! Oh, ah! fuck! Fucking hell. Oh my god, my heart just exploded. Roll it down. Some okay. freak out in the woods. How are you doing oh, he's an thing? officer. Are either of you injured? Really, we're fine. He's got we're blood on his neck. Mm -hmm. Shady, man. Well, you folks want to tell me what happened here? Yeah. Uh, evasive, we swerved off for honest something. Jumped. Let's be honest. We, um, uh, something jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it, so we swerved and now here we are. Something jumped out. So we got dishonest and animal or honest, it was dark. I'm sorry, it was, just, it was so dark and it happened so fast and they were gone. I don't know. They? Ma'am, did you hit someone? No, no, God, no, of course not. You know, I mean, I don't think so. I don't, I don't, no. <laughs> I don't, don't. Sir? So we got a path chosen. Ooh. The, car the cop seems anxious. Sir? Is this kind of like the all-time scariest cop? I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. <laughs> I'm not a criminal. <laughs> Thank you, officer. Now you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night. Oh, hey, uh, we're heading to a camp. We're heading up to Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. We're new counselors. You're one night early. No, no, we know. Um, but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out. You know, I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. <laughs> He's like guilty as charged. You're not going to make it to Haggett's quarry. What? Not tonight. Oh, shit. Is he going to kill us? 
Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh, I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? Insistent, why not Hackett's quarry or compliant, we'll head to the motel. Let's just stick with compliant. Okay, fine, yeah, we'll... We've kind of been honest hotel. and compliant Understood. all the way through so far, so... Uh, there's just one small problem. Uh, I forgot to spring for the middle of nowhere coverage plan on my phone. What he means is we're lost, completely. <laughs> Alright, ma'am, step out of the vehicle. Wait, what? Um, excuse me? I just want to show you how to get to the motel on your map there. Okay? Uh, for sure. Son, remain in the vehicle. This guy is creepy. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. He could be harmless or he could be a serial killer. We don't know. Okay. So we. Uh, definitely a serial killer. Nobody looks at. No one in the right mind should look at pencil. Here. Harbinger Motel is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's quarry again? Ooh. Ooh. Well. Slick. I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. She's not. Yep. We're not going to the Harbinger Motel, are we? <laughs> Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Wait, but, but what if there's someone out there? Yeah, I'll have a look. Good night. Why is this guy just sitting there? Uh, annoyed, thanks for all your help. Relieved, that guy was weird. That guy was giving me major weirdo The dude needed like at least a dozen showers. Oh my god, I know. What was up with the thing? I Did you see was, that? Was it blood? Yeah, that's what I thought. Nice to meet you. Let's get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here. Mm -hmm. And the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's quarry. How'd you do that? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I kind of tricked him into showing me. <laughs> very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? <laughs> no, that's creep-ass. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am? Yeah. Oh my god! If he called me ma'am one more time, I was going to shove that badge up his dick hole. <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a ma'am to you? i got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. Her hair's pure flickering. What? I... 20s debatable easy i mean i'm kind of into mams <laughs> okay we're done here. <laughs> i'm kind of into mams <laughs> guys well i think that's where we leave the video remember if you want to help support the channel please check out the links in the description and thanks for watching another video of the quarry if you've liked it whoosh, high five that like button and if you want to see more be sure to smash that subscription button down below and last but not least remember life's a game so play it well i'll see you in my next video